Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. I have been solving math problems for GRE out of this book here. Practicing to take the GRE general test, the 10th edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it in order to prepare for the exam. The problem that I'm about to solve is the one that you're going to find on page number 361. Quantity to comparison questions, hence the QC. The very last one, number 11. Number 11. Let's take a look at it. See what it has to say. It is very important that you have the book in front of you. Read the problem to yourself. Do not, do not depend on reading. Do not depend on my reading the problem to you. You must have the book in front of you. You must try the problems ahead of time. Solve it yourself and then do it. Do it with me again uh, later on. Okay. It says, the first column says, the sum of all the integers, integers is just a very fancy way of saying whole numbers. So we have the sum of all the whole numbers from 19 through 59, inclusive. That is an important one, inclusive. So we, have, we must begin at 19 and we must include 59. In other words, we must include the endpoints. So we're looking for the sum of 19 through 59. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, all the way up to 59. That's our first column. In the second column they say the sum of all the integers, sum of all the integers, sum of all the whole numbers from 22, 22 through 60, again inclusive, we must include the endpoints. We must pay attention to details. So we start with 22. 23, 24, 25, 26, all the way to 58, 59, and finally the 60. We must include the 60. Here also we have 58, and then we have 59. Well, as I always said, these questions are called quantitative comparison, which is why I write down the word computation, and I cross it out for emphasis, to remind you that we are supposed to compare the bloody things not compute them. I'm not going to sit there and add up all these numbers that will take forever for crying out loud. No, you're supposed to compare them. See, see what you can do. See if you find any similarities. See if you find some equal in terms of the two columns and, and, and get rid of it. For example, what do you find? I find 22 here and I find 22 here. If I were to subtract 22 from both columns, if I subtract 22 from this column, I must subtract 22 from that column. If I subtract 22 from this column, this 22 disappears. Since I subtracted 22 from this column, I must do the same thing there. That 22 disappears. Then I have 23. If I subtract 23 from this column, I must subtract 23 from this column. And so on and so forth. So everything that you see there, 22, 23, 24, 25, all the way up to 59, they all get cancelled out. Everything drops out. Everything drops out, except in the first column we are left with these three numbers. And in the second column we are left with this guy. That is all that is left. Everything else gets chopped out. So now we have to compare the sum of these three numbers versus that number which is much more manageable than trying to sit there and, and add up all of these numbers. Which is probably why so many people missed it. Only 36% only of people who took the exam got this question right. About a third of the people, almost two-thirds of the people, 64% of the people, missed this question because they're sitting there and converting this into quantitative computations. No matter how many times you remind them that these are called quantitative comparison, you are supposed to compare the bloody things, as I have always told you. So now what? 19 plus 20 plus 21 has to be equal to 60 because the 19 is much one less than 20 and the 21 is less than one less than 20. You see how lazy I am? I'm not even wasting my time trying to add them. I add these three up. This is one more than 20 and this is one less than 20. It's just 20 times 3, which is 60. 20 times 3, which is 60. I must retire this thing because it's bothering me. 20 times six, 20 times 3 is 60, which is exactly what we have here. Since 60 equals 60, the, the two, two columns are equal, that's it. The answer is C. That's it, we are done. That is the end of it. I hope uh, you found it helpful. If you wish to get hold of me, 
for personal private tutoring. I tutor over the internet via Skype. I also tutor over the telephone and I also obviously do private tutoring, face-to-face -face tutoring in Connecticut and New York area and in Massachusetts. If you, uh, wish, if you wish to get hold of me for personal private tutoring, either face-to-face -face or via the Skype or through the telephone, go to my website at www.prep, P-R-E-P prep, F-O-R-4, GRE.com and send me an email. Or you can go to www.keshwaniprep.com and send me an email. All right. Thanks.